Assalamu alaikum dear students and viewers today my topic is snowdrop it's a very beautiful poem written by edward james hughes snowdrop is actually white flowered plant the poet here uses the snowdrop as a symbol of his winter he represents nature as very cruel and heartless in the season the poet describes very briefly how winter restricts the moments of many creatures some of them almost reach the point of death they no longer skip about or fly as they used to now we will go through lines first then we will go in detail now is the globe shrunk tight round the mouse's dull wintered wintering heart now is the globe shrunk tight round the mouse's dull wintering heart weasel and crow as if molded in brass move through an outer darkness not in their right minds with the other deaths she too pursues her ends brutal as the stars of this month her pale head heavy as metal now is the globe shrunk tight round the mouse's dull wintering heart it is to the here the poet describes that the world that the globe is shrunk tight due to the severe perilous conditions of the winter the whole earth seems to have shrunk tight due to the terrifying terribly freezing cold the poet has perhaps used the word globe for the snowdrop which has a round head the cold winter has shrunk tight this flower also due to the severe cold the flower couldn't meet the ends to survive then the poet looks at a mouse and watches its miserable conditions during this winter the terrible cold has dulled the hot beat of this poor animal also weasel and crow as if molded in brass move through an outer darkness the poet describes here the conditions and state of the weasel and the crow he describes that their condition is not also different due to the bitter cold they look as if molded in brass the bitter cold has restricted their movements they can hardly move any they can hardly make any movement in the open due to this harsh conditions and cruelness of the season of the winter whatever little moment they make it is all in darkness only because it is dark even during the day the sun is hardly ever seen so they couldn't move freely and their movement is restricted due to the severe conditions of the cold not in their right minds with the other deaths she too pursues her ends here the poet describes the state of the poor animals and these poor animals are not in the right mind due to the freezing cold they cannot think what to do or where to find their shelter their food and where to go they see other creatures dying of the cold they remain in the fear so so they are here she is used in place of the um, snowdrop that means snowdrops are also in fear that the same thing could be happen with them understand brutal as the stars brutal as the stars of this month her pale head heavy as metal the stars in this winter in this winter winter season 
that means during the month of the winter do not have any charm do not have any attraction do not have any heat and arouse no emotions in the beholder's heart so similarly the snow drop with its dropping head fails to produce any emotion in the beholder's heart that means it couldn't it could hardly carry its head now due to the tiredness due to the uh, due to this because the, its movements also restrict to do this severe, severe due to the harsh conditions of the atmosphere due to the harsh conditions of the winter the flower has a pale heavy head which keeps dropping as if mad of some metal as if mad some heavy metal so it couldn't carry it keep it up understand it's all about the poem now i will read this poem once again in good tune i will try my best now is the globe shrunk tight round the mouse's dull wintering heart weasel and crow as if molded in brass move through an outer darkness not in their right minds with the other deaths she too perceives her ends brutal as the stars of this month her pale head heavy as metal in this poem so many devices are so many literary devices are used in this poem in the poem first of all first literary device is imagery imagery is used in this in the poem imagery is language that appeals to one or more of the five senses what are the images in the poem star mouse weasel crow bros etc these are the these are the images which are used in the poem alliteration is also used in the poem her pale head heavy as metal her pale head heavy as metal here her its head heavy what the alliteration mean alliteration is the repetition of the initial consonant sound here her in her we have h had we have a, 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 her sound is there heavy her sound is there so alliteration is used in this poem another literary device is personification personification is a figure of speech in which inanimate objects are given human attributes for example not in their right minds with the other deaths she too pursues her ends she is used in place of uh, snowdrop that means it is personified it is uh, the uh, snowdrop is given human attributes understand okay simile is another literary device used it in the poem simile is a figure of speech in which a comparison is made between two things by using or uh, by the words like or as brutal as the stars of this month her pale head heavy as metal here in these lines simile is used and 